<laughs> you know, if you had a chance to ask Antiochus, can you be saved? Antiochus tell you, hell no, man. Not even you, not even, not even if you really wanted to, man. Uh, you okay. want the second edges right now? Yeah. Uh, second edges, I need you to warm your hands, man. <laughs> second edges 3 and 36. Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Yeah, that's it. The, the, the Israelites, man. That's in us, man. That's what we do. That's what we were made to do, man. We were made to serve the Most High. And by doing that, that establishes as we the brown noses of the world, man. Toward the Most High, basically. You know, we're going to kiss his ass. We're going to enforce his laws. You know, we're going to do with it what you got to do. And, and we're the perfect candidate to, to, to be under the Most High, man. Yeah. And like it said, it said uh, that Israel by name, man. Like your name carry what? It carries your reputation. All right? Yeah. So our reputation is to serve the Most High and brown knows the Most High. Uh, be thankful of the Most High and all of that. Why? And what proves that? Our spirit, man. At the yeah. end of the day, we are spiritual people, the most spiritual people upon this earth, man. Like because if you say, if you, if, if, if a black person say that they're an atheist, you'll be surprised. Like you'd be like, wow, you know, you're an atheist. You know, like a white person said, like, yeah, y'all, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's some normal shit, <laughs> man. I've kind of figured that, <laughs> you know. I but every it. every nation, like an Arab being atheist, that's, that's surprising, man. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because you crackers ain't shit, man. You don't respect the Most High. And when you don't respect the Most High, you are officially declared as a piece of shit, man. Zero this, the Most High created this whole, your whole existence, man. And you want to try to create another God and make it legitimate. And, and just to deny the, deny the higher power. The Most High created you to be that, man. He let you go, man. He created you a fucking free spirit, man. And that shows all that free will and all that shit. That shows what it gets you, man. It's idolization and worshiping other gods and all that other bullshit, man. I'm fine with being under rules. Who wants to, like, the term a well-oiled machine? Where well, you think that comes from? from? Comes from fucking rules, man. Order. Mm -hmm. You know? Because if you got, if it's like a cover, cut yeah. you off. If you got a clock, clocks, you know, they turn different ways at different times, you know, about the, uh, simultaneously, but they inter interlock gears, basically. Gears, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So they interlock. Because every uh, gear has their order, man. So that clock can tick 60 seconds and then bam, and go to the next minute. 60 seconds and then go to the next minute, man. Yeah, like that eating my couple was talking to last week. What well, if my dad raised me to cook? Well, don't cook. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I, I've been cooking all my fucking life, man. You know what I'm saying? Not like just all my life, but I've been, you know, Sonics, McDonald's, then to a restaurant, you know, things of that nature. But I know how to cook, basically. You know what I'm saying? But my woman cooks. Like, just because I can cook don't mean, yeah, we can share the, no, like, when I feel like cooking, I'm a cook. You know? You cook Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We both cook on Wednesday. And then, you know, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Wherever the, wherever the Sabbath lay on, we gonna cook. I cook three of the days, you cook the other three days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. No, man, just because I can cook don't mean, look, I'm falling back, man. Out. You the woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> certain things you may be able to do better. Certain, one, certain women are a piece of shit, man. You know what I'm sure. saying? To the point that they can't take care of their children. And you, you know, you take care of them. Like, when you're forced to do something, then you got to do it, man. That's how I learned to cook. <laughs> my mom, I was in a single-parent home with only my mom, so I had, you know, I used to call them like, look, ain't no food. You know, I think about noodles, fucking can this or can that. She said, it got a bunch of food in that. You better go in that fucking freezer. I go in there and see nothing but meat. Like, eh, this shit's frozen, man. <laughs> man, I put that shit in the pot. Like, fuck it. You know, I'm about to cook this shit. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to cook. But, look, I got I got a woman, man. You, she, she enjoys cooking. Like, it's all bad for a woman to keep order, man. Like, what the fuck type of shit? That's some eating my shit, man. Why is it bad for a woman to keep order? Why is it bad for a man to be a man? Why is it bad for a man to grow his beard? Why is it bad for a man to tell his woman what to do, man? If the woman's cool, especially if the woman's cool with it. Like, the crackers brought that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I learned this concept from working. I'll be cool with a job. Then you'll get another nigga come up to you, man, man. 
you, man, can you believe that supervisor, man? That <laughs> shit that they doing? And he be like, yeah, I never looked at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Now you consumed by their thoughts, man. You know, if you was cool with it before they talked to you, just be cool with it, man. So if you a woman and you cool with cooking and you cool with doing this for, for a nigga, then Eden might come up, you can't, you let that say, you cook all the time. That hey. nigga can't, he can't lift his arm, his arm broke or something. Hey, well that's, yeah. that's the serpent, man, in the garden of Eden. That's exactly <laughs> what it is, man. Except for, except for, uh, it, it, it ain't gonna say, except for, it is, it's, it's Esau, it's Jacob and Esau, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it just don't make sense because this society, quote unquote, hates criminals. Being a criminal, you're breaking a law. You're not in order. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to being in order under the law of the land, so to speak, or the law of this society, then they have a problem with that, man. Just, like, right? the, just like with the police, the logistics behind it is retarded. Like, you care about lives and all that. When, it, when a cop, like when you say, basically just listen to the police, well, if he's wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not that's that's not what it's supposed to be. If a cop wanna fucking punch me in the fucking face, I gotta listen. Just to not lose my life. Like that's 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 fucking slavery, that's oppression, that's tyranny. You you are out your motherfucking mind. Like, you, you mean to tell me I gotta get punched in my fucking face just to live? You mean I gotta I gotta get a hundred dollar ticket because he don't like me? And y'all say I'm wrong for saying like, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I have all right to say what the fuck because this whole country was built off of that. I'm saying what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That the the, the, the idea of freedom, man, to, to not be uh, dictated by uh, 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 one power, man. That's why you got voters, man. I have all right to tell this mother what the fuck if, if he taking my fucking check, man. You know? Like, you you look at your check and you see FICA and all these motherfuckers, you know, you know what I'm saying? Taking 50, 60 dollars out your check, out of you and your family mouth. And I can't tell you nothing? Man, you must be out your fucking mind, man. Right? That's, that's, we have all right to say what the fuck. But in this society, no. They, they, Esau, just to win the argument, they're going to justify it, man. They're going to be like, yeah, you, sh you should listen to the off. Like the bitch that got snatched out of the chair. I don't give a damn. She was a nickel woman, and she got what was coming to her. But you still don't handle a child like that. You know what I'm saying? When your principle is to take care of the children. You establish that. You say the kids matter. Children are the future. I believe in our future. You push that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then a little girl gets snatched out the out of fucking desk. She shouldn't have been talking to the police officer. I don't give a fuck. Where are you at, man? You know, like you, you know, you a police officer. You a man. At the end of the day, you know damn well that bitch cannot handle you, man. You can just grab her wrist, grab her other wrist, and, and, and drag her out. You ain't have to flip and throw that motherfucker, man. You know, as a, as a man looking at another man, I could look at another man like, man, you can have that shit, man. Because I'll beat you the fuck up. Yeah, that's like somebody coming, man, I done had five street fights. I beat all five of them bitches. Wait, nigga, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you only yeah. got wins against bitches? Yeah, yeah. You, you wins against bitches? You know, like, you know, I, I, I look at niggas, niggas like somebody talk, told me at work one day, like, man, is he bothering you, bro? Because, you know, I, I, I do, like, Muay Thai and shit. You know, he see my jacket. He's like, you do, you do, you know what I'm saying? You go out at such and such gym? I say, yeah, man. And and the uh, one of the dudes talking shit, like, it was like, you know, he made a joke. I was like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain shit I could, like, I could beat you up, bro. I don't, like, don't got to... <laughs> Like check you, I don't gotta get loud. Like I know when I'm threatened. You know what I'm saying? At this, when you when you know how to defend yourself, you know how much you feel threatened. Like you got a gun, a nigga be like, "What's up, nigga?" You know, I'm like, man, nothing up, bro. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing up, man. I don't know. You go, you got it? Because if I pull this motherfucker out, you dead. Instantly. Like why you gotta why I gotta stunt? You know what I'm saying? 
Like Esau just, he's just like the stunt, man. You got the power, man. And then you just drag Jake who you want to. You like, you fuck all of us. You got, you got the power, man. And then Esau justified. Like he has, like, like what about you, a woman coming to me and like, hey, what's up, nigga? And I just steal on, knock her ass clean out. Oh, that's a woman. No, no, fuck that. Fuck that. That bitch threatened me. I didn't know she was going to attack me, knock me out. I got kids. I got a family to feed. She could have had a blade under her I could tongue. Be, I could eat through a straw. I could, I got, I could get diabetes, anything. You know, like, that's the type of shit we saw does, man. They're, not, they're, unjust, they're unjust in their logic. Really, at the end of the day, they have an agenda, and it's all about them, man. Because when you, when you justify a fucking cop dragging a bitch out of out of, out of chair like that, you, something wrong with you, man. You really salty behind it. Like this whole Black Lives Matter movement. I don't give a fuck about them niggas, man. Cause half these niggas ain't out here, man. At the end of the day, half, I ain't gonna say half, two thirds of these niggas ain't out here, man. That's a far. You know? You niggas are uh, Christmas, man. You know, you all into this shit. You know, I see niggas, kings, queens, we are kings, we are queens. Christmas came, y'all niggas unwrapped pregnant in the front pictures, shit, you know what I mean? Like, you nigga, you serious? I thought you was an Egyptian king. I don't remember them celebrating Christmas. Culture dick riders, man. You just do whatever's fine for you, man. We serve the most high in the cold, nigga. <laughs> in the cold. I don't want to be here. <laughs> you know, but I love the Lord, and I, I feel this is more important than myself, man. It's like, mm, I mean, it's like work. You don't want to go to work, but you, you know you have to to pay your you bills. To you, know? you know, you know, it's, it, it's responsibility. <laughs> yeah. We have a responsibility to be out here, man. Mm -hmm. You have a responsibility to produce. You know, so you're working when nobody else is working. You know, like you got a responsibility. We have a responsibility. This truth. Is a responsibility. We take it seriously. Unlike Baloo, man. Yeah. Unlike Nate. Yeah. We're not going to sit here and take no break in the winter because it's a responsibility. The Most High has endowed us with a, 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 res, a job. We have been hired. You know? We all Iskarites. No, you know? <laughs> we all Iskarites. Yeah, we all Iskarites. work in and out, man. You in there, man. Like, you can't sit there and say, oh, uh, yeah, I can't. I'm sick today. You using all your sick days. The most I like, man, I know when you sick. I know you, you know. Yeah, God. Like, it's crazy. You take, you take another quote unquote shitty job, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else yeah. to do. You know? Somebody got to do it. Hey, somebody I heard a wise man say that before, man. It's a dirty job, but somebody got to do it. It has, yeah. to, it has to be. How the, how the elect don't get, how the elect don't know about it, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how important it is. It's not even about you. The brick code. You yeah. can be free. It don't fucking matter. It's a, if I die doing this, you know, Peter died. You know, James died. You know, not James. Uh, 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 arguably James. John. John, uh, arguably John. But all these apostles died behind this, man. Steph, Steph, yeah, Steph, Steph, Steph. You know? Hey, Jonah actually be thrown over the boat behind the work, man. <laughs> Cause, yeah, he like because of other people's well-being, man. Yeah. Not himself. He could have stayed on the boat and went down with all of them. But he was like, man, it's, it's me. The lot. He was like, look, it's me. They cast lots and it came upon Jonah. Like, you know, Jonah explained the story. Dude explained the story. Like, you an apostle? You supposed to be, and you here? Oh, Nigga, it's you. You know, and Jonah said, well, throw me over the boat, bro. I don't want all of us to die. You know? I don't even think they have a choice. <laughs> like, yeah, they, 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 they really didn't, but it came down to that, but just to show that the self-sacrifice. And people ain't, ain't, ain't willing to self-sacrifice. Yours are uh, how to save myself. Man, yeah. fuck you, man. Fuck me. You know, it's about what the what what the culture is about. The culture that precedes my, my decisions in, in life, man. You know? And niggas ain't willing to make that decision on saying, look, look, fuck me. It's about the betterment of my people. Mm -hmm. Only niggas that made a difference in life did that, man. Even Martin Luther King, he sold out. But at a party, started out at a, at a certain rate. Malcolm X started out at a certain rate. All these niggas that sacrificed, I man, these niggas sacrificed their life. Say, fuck my life. I'm about to just go out here and do what I'm supposed to do. You know? 
and, and it created results, man. You know? That's why niggas can't be successful in this society because they're not willing to be themselves. They're not willing to sacrifice themselves, man. It's hard, man. Ain't shit ain't easy, man. You can tell in music, man. It's hard for a nigga to express himself. You know, you do the generic thing to get you by. You go ahead, brother. I'm gonna read it. Just, I mean, we speaking on the code. I don't mean to be cliche or nothing, but I really want the second half of it. That's really the the, the important part as of now. You know, I'm not saying none of the scripture ain't. Uh, this is Proverbs 20 and 4. It says the, su the slugger would not plow by reason of the cold. Yeah, I talked to somebody one time. They said, uh, yeah, man. I don't think that it's the end season, I season mean what it mean. Well, what does that mean? The, the plow would not, the slugger would not plow because of reason of the cold. You're not going to do work because it's cold, man. That's that's nail on the head. But you ain't going to get it because the most high blinded you, man. You you I don't even know how you're going to rebuttal that scripture, but you're just not going to bring that one up. You know, go ahead. Second half. Therefore, shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Yeah, like that's like the girl with the oil, man. And, yeah, and really, and really, that begging and harvest is taking that that cheap route. Mm -hmm. The women, the the soft ass niggas, taking that angle of you all loving and kind. That's that's begging and harvest. Taking those fucking stragglers, stragglers. Yeah, you know? you you're basically like, look, I was doing it too. You know, I was. Nah, look at nah, all it's like, it's, like, like it, it's not even that. It's, it, 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 it's, look, man, you can't be talking about the two thirds like that. That's begging <laughs> and harvest. Like, that's, a, that's, who else you gonna get? You ain't gonna get no serious niggas, cause, no serious brothers, because they, they, it's not acceptable. You can't win over, you know, like, you can't win over them. You know, like, we talk about the sports a lot. You can't get no fucking, no Julio Jones in a contract and you, you can't present nothing to the table to this dude, man. You gotta go get the stragglers. You ain't got no offensive line, no quarterback. No, no quarterback. You got him nothing going. For <laughs> <laughs> and you talking about, yeah, man, you got a big future, bright future. Like, no, that work on half-ass <laughs> niggas, man. You gonna start. Niggas, when they tell you, you gonna start. That That's niggas that work on. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I work on Nate. He don't work in the harvest. So, when you come with half a bid, you're an Israelite. You're, you're mm -hmm. elect. You elect. That works on them type of niggas. That's begging and harvest, man. We don't gotta beg. We don't have to do shit, man. Do the spirit of, and the power of the most high you how by Shimia Shai. We don't have to do a damn thing. The most high gonna do everything, man. That's why when why are you using that language or why you talk how you gonna wake up people talking like that? Like we don't have to do nothing. We're consistent. We're we we're, we're quality work. You know, like we don't have to do all that, man. We just we just do what we're supposed to do. You know, like my coach, my boxing coach, y'all tell me, man, don't look for the knockout. Do what you're supposed to, you. to do, yep. the knockout gonna come to you. Mm -hmm. You know, keep your hands up, sidestep, use your distance. And eventually, it, the mistake is gonna happen. When you get in that ass bust, then you gotta throw them haymakers. Mm -hmm. It look good on camera, though, you know? Sometimes when you get so good, you just come in that motherfucker and knock a nigga out in the first round. That was different. Oh, different. you knocking him out? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knocked him out first round. You knocked that in? Yeah. <laughs> Fight night. First round, yeah. second round. All right, don't joke. It's joke. Inside joke, yeah. man. Inside joke, man. We got to do that, man. We got to do it. It got to stay warm, man, some way. Um, but at the end of the day, I love you, brother. I <laughs> love y'all, brother. Um, you, you have to be consistent in this work, man. You got to be uh, efficient in this work. And most high don't accept nothing less. And even when you do your best, it's not enough. He said that, man. Yep. You know, he said even when you, far exceed, even when you do your best, you will far exceed your expectations. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? That your elite best ain't shit, man. Like, because he's going to far exceed that. So... What does that tell you as a person? Do you stop trying? You know? Do you just, you, you try to prove them wrong? For personal reasons? Or do you say, I like that challenge? I like that challenge. I, I like the ability that I can't please somebody that I'm uh, eventually, I'm trying to please. But they doing everything for me, man. Yeah, it makes you want to work harder, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like <laughs> think if you had a job and say, nigga, you can't never work hard enough to I, I never stop giving you raises. 
You know, you, you work doubles, doubles, and you get a raise. You're like, nigga, I ain't gonna stop giving you raises, nigga. What's up? Like, you can't reach There's no peak, nigga. You working triple like, doubles. Quadruple you got, doubles. I gave you two dollars. I could have gave you five, though. Look. Like, you gonna go in that bed and work harder, like, harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't, like, Esau Society. Like, I ain't gonna give you shit. You know? No, like, we keep getting raises. We keep bumping up in this truth, man. I'm gonna take it to fighting. How, how you like to take it to, man? Kung Fu. They, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They say a black belt should it shouldn't be a limit on it, man. There's no limit. There's no limit. <laughs> there's you no train limit. and there's no way you can stop getting better. That is fighting is really to me in any element of martial arts is but it, it's like you know like football, basketball. Once you get it, you got it. It's a certain limit to making threes. A certain limit to being powerful. That's why they got fucking um tornado or uh, CrossFit. That's why CrossFit came about because you can bench press 400 pounds and try to move up, but then your your body is saying, "Like, nigga, this, like, that's it." So I call you maxing out. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta confuse yeah. it. CrossFit <laughs> is CrossFit. You have Good to confuse point, your body to get stronger. It's like push-ups, jumping jacks, run. You know, you have to confuse your body. But with the scripts, it's like you just do what you're supposed to do. You study, read. You know what I'm saying? And you constantly get better, man. And the you script, know? it's a lot. Go ahead. I'm about to say, the scriptures say that. Say bodily exercise a little, man. You it know what I'm saying? Little. It, it profit little. Yeah, it profited little, man. Yeah. But you, you can't get enough of it. This is go far beyond that, man. Yeah, far beyond that, man. This because it ain't like if you can bench 350, that can save you from what's coming to this place, that's man. Why, that's why boxers fight with their, the good boxers fight with their, they fight with their mind early in their career <laughs> are the best ones. Hey, you like, know? when we watched the, the last fight we seen, man, was it Nate Diaz or Nick Diaz? Uh, Nate Diaz. Nate, Nate, Nate. Nate. He was boxing the hell out the dude, man. The other dude was strong as fuck looking like, you know what I'm saying? This is Nate Diaz's first fight in a, over a year. Say, say, over a year? What's that quote you be saying? Uh, uh, hard, something about talent and hard work. Yeah, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Exactly, man. You, you know? know, it ain't about being swollen, looking strong and shit, man. It's about, you know what I'm saying, you train it. That's why I respect Conor McGregor, man. This nigga works out. You just like that nigga. Man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I had another brother that could curry with me, man. You know what I'm saying? He could curry. I need to get Conor McGregor a beast. My But, um, but and when, you, when you apply it to the truth, it's... it's it's We're not diligent. the numbers. We're not purple and gold garments. We're not what you. We're not that that generic, popular group. We're not gonna sit there and have a video that's just like, oh, this shit go crazy and it go viral. We ain't gonna never go viral, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just consistent. Quality.